All right, guys, so I've got something a little bit different with this one. This isn't a review. It's also not an unboxing. It's kind of like a semi-first impressions almost, but with a bit of a twist. So when it comes to securing links, what's the method you prefer? Do you like push pins, pin and collar, screws, double screws maybe? If you're like me, you're probably going to hate some of them. The ones that I hate the most, probably pin and collar. Closely followed by double screws, because you just need three hands to do them, really. They're so fiddly. If I had to pick my favourite, it'd probably be single screws. I've never really had any issues with them. When it comes to pin and collar, I've broken so many tools doing them, it's just a nightmare sometimes. And as I say, with double screws, it's just really fiddly and awkward to do. I've even occasionally had issues with just straight up push pins. Normally when it's trying to get them back in, that's where the issue arises. But that's where this watch here comes in. They're doing things a totally different way, not something I've seen before. So this is a watch I picked up in one of the recent AliExpress sales. Not done the review yet, but I will be doing that soon. But I just had to do a little video on this because I just thought it was pretty cool. So, as well as having the titanium bracelet on this, there's also something else that sets it apart from any other watch I've checked out. Let me know if you're the same, if you've ever seen this before. So, we've not got any holes on the side there, no screws. No holes for push pins. So, how do we adjust this? Nothing on either side. Are you a bit confused? Are you wondering, maybe it's on the clasp? No, nope, it's not on there. We've got a little bit of micro adjust, but no on the fly. And we'd still need some kind of adjustment on the links as well. So, I'll open this up and show you how it actually works. So, there's nothing going on here. Can't move these. So, how do you do it? Well, if we move a bit further down, and then if we pull this one here, you can see it actually pops out. And it's also spring-loaded as well. So if you do catch it on anything, it isn't just going to fall apart. If we pull it out, pop it to one side. I'll get a zoom in so you can see this a bit better, hopefully. And now you can see that pin in there. So if you want to take it out, the other side just slides out. And that is actually attached to that link. So I don't know if I'd actually call this a pin. It's more like a slightly thicker, almost bar. So you shouldn't need to worry about bending it. And then obviously we just pull that back over. And then it slots back in nicely. The spring-loaded action just pops it back into place. Really simple to do. Obviously you take the links out, I've already sized this. So I'm going to put this back on. And bear in mind, I'm actually doing this whilst looking through the viewfinder on my phone. So it can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. But even doing it that way, this is still simple. And as I said before, because it is spring-loaded, it's secure as well. If you do catch it on something, it's just going to snap straight back. You've got to pull it out and rotate it for it to actually come apart. And so far at least, I've not had any issues with it at all. I've even tried deliberately catching it on my clothing and stuff. And it doesn't even get the spring bit because it's just, it's pretty strong, pretty secure. I'd love to know if anyone else has got this watch and how long they've had it and whether they've had any issues with this kind of mechanism. But for me personally, so far, as I say, it's been flawless. I really like it. And I'm wondering, why don't more brands use it? If it was up to me, I'd have this on every watch. I think it's just far easier and far more reliable as well. You've not got to worry about bending pins or losing screws or anything. If you know of any other watches that do use this, let me know down in the comments. But that's it for this one, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, something a little bit different. And as I say, I'll be doing the full review soon, so keep an eye out for that.